You want me to get into it? Tell he's a physiology bloke, can't you? Yeah. He's, he's, he's oh, awful, that's that's awesome. Okay, so, within your introduction, like we spoke about last week, at the end of the day, you are comparing two things. You're looking at the effect of speed or the effect of gate type. Okay, so speed on running, lower extremity kinematics of round reaction force, or the differences in gate type. So, in your introduction, that's going to be a common theme. So, don't talk about injuries or types of shoes, etc., etc. Focus on what you're looking at different. You know, so and so found joint angles to do this between walking and running. Again, within your results, exactly the same thing, you're comparing two different things. So, this is the ground reaction force, the FZ component, and you're comparing walking and running. So, don't have a figure with all the ground reaction force <coughs> running and one for walking, because the last thing the reader needs to do is flip between two different pages to kind of compare. So if you're comparing two things, you've got walking and running, this is the FZ component, you might do the same for the FY component of figure two. So again, with your, with your data, present it, comparing those two things, and ensure that you're using the right way to present it. So bar graph, you need bar graph, a line graph, you need a line graph. This is APA format, so as you can see, the background is completely white, if there's nothing there, there's no horizontal lines. Look at the font. Look at APA in terms of the size of the font and the type of font, and just ensure throughout your lab report you are consistent. So each figure, the font size, whatever, the font type is this. Okay, if you're using bold for headings, be consistent throughout. Might be, do, might be something you do at the end, or again, if you fill up, you fill up the writing and everything, just go through your lab report and just kind of put things in bold, double check the font, spacing, etc. Um, if you're struggling again with your introduction method, then start playing around with graphs. Okay? Do your schematic drawing for your method or start just seeing how you should display the data. Okay? There's a lot to do with this assignment, that's why it's 50% of biomechanics 1, and that's why we introduced it before Easter and said get your introduction written during Easter. Okay? So it was really Colour, pretend even if it wasn't black and white that you can kind of see the difference between walking and running. So you've got a solid line for running, a dotted line for walking, and a dead colour, one might be red, one might be yellow. That makes sense? Yeah. When you're looking at ground reaction, make sure that you can try and uh, start at the same point. Okay, so you don't want this dotted line kind of coming up here and that starting later, so try and time them the same so you might have to cut the data just to ensure that. Both curves start at the same time. Again, you might want to use a table, so ensure that the type of the table is above table one. If you've got figures, if you've got tables, which you will have, make sure you refer to them in the text. Okay, you've got to write as if, unless you put in brackets figure one or table one within the text, we are not going to look at that figure one or table one. So everything is kind of got to be linked in together. Do you have to put it in inverted commas because we have read two different things. On the jab thing, it yeah. says to do it, and then on something else I've read, it doesn't say. So, jab is journal applied biomechanics, and yeah. we go by APA guidelines, journal applied something. What, on Connor's signature? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Right, it's so easy to forget when you're also thinking about writing introduction and discussion and doing references. And sometimes people kind of forget the uh, formatting. Within the table, similar to the graph, comparing two different things, you've got a column for running and a column for walking. So don't do a table for running and a table for walking. Ensure that they are together so you can look and directly compare the two numbers. Okay, bar graph, similar. Try and be sure that you've got spaces just because it's, it's easier to read. Look at shading, so obviously one's in pack peak and one's active peak. It just makes it a lot clearer to the reader. Again, so figure two, figure three, figure four, etc. So make sure you've got that label at the bottom. And just make sure you use the appropriate way in order to display your data. So it might take just playing around, try a line graph, try a bar graph, what works the best. And work independently as well in terms of presenting data. So you can work together in order to kind of compile the data, the digitizing and grand reaction tools. And then just go off separately and just figure it out yourself. That's pretty much it in terms of, of what it should look like. So now it's up to you just to ask questions, just to show your work, and just make use of this time. Okay, like I said, you made the effort to get here, so don't kind of disappear off because you want to go and go back for the weekend. Just make use of this time now. Make life easier. Okay? Yeah, I'll send it over once.